Oh, what wacky adventures are next for Loki? Will he be a Loki butler, a Loki valet, maybe a coffee barista? <laughs> Yeah, we're going to take a look at Loki Season 2, the show I love to hate, because <laughs> I hated on it last season. Did a bunch of reviews on it right up here. You can check them out for yourself. But as we all know, the writing on Loki was a little suspect. Tom Hiddleston played second fiddle to female Loki. And while looking back now, it was one of the better things that was on Marvel, but what do we feel about it going into it moving forward? We just checked out the trailer. We're going to look at some things, some stuff and some things. I think there's been a secret leak to the press. Let's get into it more. Before you do that, just want to let you know I'm the man you may know as E from Our Reviews Will Kill You. Our podcast is free to you everywhere. iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all that and more. But let's take a look at the articles. Let's see what's going on. Loki Season 2 shows off time travel and Jonathan Majors, but did it though? It really revealed absolutely nothing more than what we saw at the end of Ant-Man Quantumania. And for those of you who are interested, yes, I have watched every single piece of content that Marvel has released, and I have reviewed all of it. So I would consider myself an expert on this, considering that Almost everybody else doesn't watch anything. Yes, I made it through all the way through Secret Wars. You can catch that review as well. But let's keep going. There are some things I like, so I'm not going to be totally critical, and some things I don't like. I uh, really think it's it was it's. I don't really understand what the plot is. It didn't give me any idea what the plot. It comes out on October sixth. Some of it looks good. Some of it doesn't. I don't understand why Loki is just going to be like an office dude from now on. Like, I don't really need to see any more of the inside of the TVA. The only time it made it look cool is uh, uh, Ki Hui Kwan as OB. Uh, you may know him uh, from everything, always at once. That movie he won an Oscar for, apparently, which I did not see, but I heard was good. He's also in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, where he was a little kid, but also amazing. So I think he looks like fun. I like that scene. I think it's interesting. I think it's amusing. <laughs> like he sounds, seems like a cool guy. So let's see what he has to hold for himself. Um, every All the usual players are back in it. There's a little bit of weird Sylvie. I don't know what is going on with her. Uh, it's a little bizarre, for sure. I think... I, I don't really know what to make of it. I, I like that they added new characters, but yeah, as you can see, everything, everywhere, all at once is where, of course, they're going to be like Oscar-winning star. And it's, it's good to see him do more things. I, if he wants to get back in acting, that's really pretty cool. But what we didn't see was a lot of Jonathan Majors as Victor Timely, another variant of Kang. We was Kang's baby. Well, maybe they introduced a new villain and we didn't even see it. And it took some really sharp eyes to find it, which makes me think that this is a leak to the press. And maybe they re-edited the show to recontextualize who the villain is because perhaps the secondary villain will be a more primary villain. So they're going to talk a little bit about Zaniac here. Now, I am a comic book reader and collector at one point i don't do much of it anymore but this is pretty old and pretty down deep in the rabbit hole and i don't think that just anybody would notice this without someone leaking it to them especially when there's not enough to even see anything so basically this is a character uh called zaniac from thor 319 back in 1982 it's as they even say here it's a relatively obscure villain from the god of thunder's pantheon of bad guys so it's one of thor's enemies the dude can conjure like mind knives or something he's there's a long backstory somehow connected it with dormammu who you may know from doctor strange the first one and he somehow becomes like jack the ripper 
or something like that. I don't know. And he takes over this actor, and the actor's name is something Wolf. Again, I, I read this article, but like this is way too down the the plot hole thing here. But what they're saying is you can see there's a there's a thing for Zaniac here, which implies that the, the character becomes Zaniac. He is an actor. One of the one of the variations of of this character is uh What's his name in the article? Brad Wolf. He was starring in a slasher movie at the University of Chicago, and then he gets superpowers and blah, 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 blah. So here he's starring in a movie. In fact, they show the character in some sort of peril here. Uh, I don't know who the actor is, but clearly this looks like the guy, and there's some sort of like something looking at him, and who knows? Maybe they're trying to throw breadcrumbs to throw us off the trail. Maybe it's just a glorified cameo. But with all the problems that Jonathan Majors is having, this could also be a thing. But who knows? But let's take a look briefly. We'll scan through the trailer, see a couple things that we may be interested in. Now, in the in the thumbnail for this particular video, I did Loki as a barista because, as you will see, female Loki has a very also mundane, interesting job. And I'm kind of tired of the the TVA thing. Like, I don't really get it. Do they work for Kang? Do they not work for Kang? What's the deal? He drops out of the ceiling, which I, I guess is a thing. Sure, whatever. Like, this is a cool little laboratory scene. And Loki is time slipping. He's, like, getting all stretchy and bendy, and he's slipping through time. Which, you know, looks kind of gross. And I don't know why they spent money on this. They look like they spent a lot of money on this where they probably should stop spending so much money on these things. I had heard that the budget for Secret Invasion was as much as Barbie and Oppenheimer combined, <laughs> which is insanity. So he go, he's going all over the place. He's some power sports place. Yeah, sure. Time slipping here, time slipping there. Selfie is tied up or something. Don't know what's going on there. Clearly, the the old guy, the old gods were, were revealed to be Kang, Kang the Conqueror. Not so scared of him. They go back in time, see the first wheel. Here's that actor we were talking about, that uh, Brad Wolf, who will apparently turn into, I suspect, Zaniac. So something's going on there, right? It's got definitely got some kind of powers. Um, key lime pie sounds tasty. I like this little moment. I think it's kind of cool. They take time to eat a key lime pie. Sure. Whatever you say. I'll 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 buy it for now. I do want to show you if I can find it. There she is. She's working at McDonald's. I don't know why. Like I said, Loki's a barista is not that far of a stretch. A female Loki's working at McDonald's. Sure, guys, I'll take fries with that. Uh more of the end of time stuff. This whole wacky, like, space thing looks kind of cool, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to think of it. Like, I just don't have a good feeling one way or another. You know, do I really want to see Selby with Loki? Like, I, do, I don't know. I'm not really sure what's going on. If anybody has any better ideas, look, it looks like that actor guy. He's going insane, probably being a serial killer, murdering people. Look, there's that actor guy again. I'm telling you, they're trying to hint at something. They're trying to hint at something. And then they show us basically the scene we already saw with Victor, um, whatever his name is, basically Nikolai Tesla stand-in. So. And then a giant, this thing, voiced by Tara Strong, whatever that's about. So, I don't know. Not, like, super impressed, but, I mean, I'll watch it. So, what do you guys think? I don't know. I'm confused. I know I ripped the previous Loki pretty bad. I thought the writing was pretty terrible. There were some really amazing moments that I really, really liked. And some really, really stupid stuff. I thought the characterization of Loki was kind of dumb. And I thought him wearing a suit all the time was kind of dumb. I don't need to see that. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I will I read them all so we can talk about it. Let's have a discussion. Are you excited? I'm like a meh. You know, all the rest of the shows have been pretty bad. I can't imagine this one's going to be great. So I just have no more to say about it until it actually airs. But anyway, I am going to move on.
to the next one.